Hello, I'm London Swan. Indiana Democrats say Indiana hasn't done enough to close the wage gap. They spoke out today along with equal pay advocates across the nation who are marking Equal Pay Day, the date when the average woman's earnings catches up to what the average man earned last year. Hoosier women earn about 73 cents for every dollar men make for the same work. And the poverty rate for women and girls in Indiana is nearly 17 percent. Democrats say the first step in addressing the problem is to study it, then do what's necessary to make sure that gap closes. Governor Mike Pence says he believes the way to address income disparity is to promote economic growth. The Indiana Family and Social Services Administration announced this week increased funding for a federal child care voucher program. $23 million was added to the federal child care voucher program, the Child Care Development Fund, which reimburses low-income families in Indiana for child care costs. That's the first increase to the program since 2007. Officials say increased funding will give low-income families more options they can afford. Governor Mike Pence announced today an Indiana tax summit to address simplifying the state's tax code while making its tax climate more competitive. The governor says he's proud of the state's achievements so far, but acknowledges that there's still work to be done. He says the tax summit will bring together Indiana officials and out-of-state experts to look at best practices from around the country and develop fresh ideas to improve the state's tax environment. The summit will take place in late June. Now let's look at the weather for tonight. It'll be partly cloudy with lows in the mid 30s. Now take a look at the five day forecast. Wednesday will be mostly sunny with highs in lower 60s and lows around 40s. I'm London Swan.